Beneath the veneer of skepticism, reality bears witness to chilling truths. In the haunting corridors of history, where shadows dance with undeniable evidence, remember this, the stories are true. Prepare for a revelation. Where the supernatural is stripped of fiction, and the unknown is laid bare, are you ready to confront the undeniable? The stories are true, and the echoes of reality await. Howdy folks, ever heard of the Midland Hotel, the grand old dame of Bradford? Erected in the 1800s, it's more than just a swanky place for a midnight feast. It practically holds the title for Yorkshire's creepiest hotel. Enjoy the five-star spooks. In 1905, and you're not going to believe this, Bram Stoker, yeah, the very chap who penned Dracula, decided to hit up the Midland Hotel. He was there to cheer on his friend, Sir Henry Irving, who was performing at the Theatre Royal. I mean, who wouldn't want to support a friend who could probably play the lead in your vampire novel if he wasn't so darn alive? Well, that's where the fun starts. Now, Bram Stoker, the mastermind behind Dracula, he's not just any old friend of Irving's. He's a literary genius who probably knew a thing or two about spooking people out. So when he decides to pay a visit to his pal Irving at the Midland Hotel, you can bet it's going to be one heck of a story. Imagine Bram sitting there in the audience at the Theatre Royal, probably getting all excited about seeing his buddy perform. But then, just as the curtains fall and the applause rings out, disaster strikes, Irving collapses right then and there from a stroke. And before anyone can even bat an eyelash, he's gone. Talk about a showstopper, huh? Now fast forward to today, and Irving's spirit is still hanging around the Midland Hotel like an old theatre ghost who refuses to take his final bow. People swear they've seen him drifting through the halls, his figure obscured by a mysterious smoky haze. It's like something straight out of one of Bram Stoker's own chilling tales. So next time you find yourself booking a room at the Midland Hotel, keep your eyes peeled and your wits about you. You never know when you might bump into Sir Henry Irving's ghostly presence, ready to give you a scare that'll send shivers down your spine. And hey, if you do happen to run into him, maybe ask him for some tips on how to write a killer ghost story. After all, who better to learn from than the ghost of a legendary actor, right? Thanks for joining us on this eerie adventure. If you enjoyed the chills, don't forget to subscribe. More mysteries await. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay curious.